don't underestimate your creativity. It is like the thing that we have that no one else has. The way that we create things, the way that we bring things into existence is unique to us. And as someone who has been searching for a while on the meaning to everything and how to do everything and what's our purpose, what we're supposed to be doing, learning all the things, doing all the things, it all comes back to the uniqueness of who we are and allowing that to come through us. Despite whatever you believe in or whatever beliefs you are currently holding on to be true, it's through that process of creativity that allows the real you to shine because in those things that you want to create, when you tap into your desires, your deep, dark desires, not the ones sitting on top, not those, not those surface level ones, but it is through the, the drive towards those that you start to unveil more and more. And by doing that, those desires, those things that you want will guide you into things that you want to create, things that you want to see into existence, things that you want to experience in this 3D reality. And it's through that process that we can get all those other things that we think we need to learn or we think we need to do first before we can get the things we want. And what I mean by that is, if you were trying to manifest or bring something into your life or an experience that you wanted and you said, I want a $10,000 and suddenly this great idea for a new business or a way to make money came through and you went and followed that and you listened to your intuition and you did all those steps to try and move towards that. What happens is through that process of you trying to get that thing that you want, listening to those those steps that you think you should be taking, you are going to get all those fears and all those stories and anything that's in your way. It could be a situation, could be people, could be just that little thought in your head telling you that you can't do it or that's not possible. Those are the things that we need to look at and whatever healing tool or modality or however you look at that, you use that process in order to keep releasing those layers to to get closer to those things you want. Because as you are driving yourself towards these things that you want, and because you're looking at all those things that surface and come up, you're literally creating the more authentic, truest version of you. So you are literally doing and being and becoming the thing that you were trying to do before, but you're doing it through the things that you want to experience, the things that you want to bring into your life. So it's this beautiful, beautiful little cycle of you finding the desires and bringing them to life by using your own creativity. It's unique to you the way that you do it and allowing that to highlight and bring forward anything that's in your way. And as you keep doing that, everything gets easier. Your, your feelings change, your desires and your drive changes, your thoughts change, your emotion changes. And then because, because you're becoming more and more of who you are, you're becoming more magnetic. Your vibration is increasing. You are attracting more people to you that are matched to you in that moment. And I will say it does mean less because it's like this surface at the beginning when you were trying to do all these things and, and trying to follow all these other people and do all these things that everyone else is doing. There's the masses. There's the collective energy. There's all these grids you're attached to. But when you start doing the things unique to you and the things that you want to do and the way that you do them, you will start attracting more aligned people, more magnetic people, more vibrationally matched to who you are. And it's not just the people, it's the experiences and the things you want as well. It can get uncomfortable. It can get like, oh my God, this is so hard. This is so difficult. But I'm telling you, and I only say things from my own experience. Before, when I was trying to chase and do what everyone else is telling me to do and how to do it, it just falls flat. It just becomes this this process of you keep doing things that don't really work out the way you want. Maybe things work out for a little bit and then they stop. It's because we're riding on the coattails of other people's success. 
them sharing the way that they did things and the way that they achieved things is not for us to just blanket copy. It's for us to use that as inspiration, to listen to what other people have done and how they move through things. And the more people we listen to, the more information we can receive, which means the more we can allow to create the the way that will work for us. So it's like filling yourself with knowledge and then pulling out the pieces to make it work for you. And for me, as someone who's been through the whole spiritual, religion, science, all of it, all of it at once, I pull all those pieces together that work for me. Same with the way I create, same with my business, same with everything in my life, I filled myself with enough knowledge that I can see 360 degrees of what everyone else is believing. And then I can pull in the pieces that I want to use in the moment because I believe there's truth in everything, what other people are saying and, and their experiences and the way that they've worked. But to make it unique to us and to make the experience work for us and to understand, depending on your beliefs, of whether you're, you're here on your own or you believe in the higher power, whatever it is, it's still all you, the creativity that comes from you, the uniqueness that comes from you. You already have it. You already have that inside you somewhere. And it's just moving towards those things that you want to create that's just going to get you there so much faster. I promise you. <laughs> then you don't have to follow strategies. You don't have... You don't have to follow what everyone else is doing. You get to do the things that work for you in a way that works for you. And guess what? It's so much more easier and so much more fun.